Hello everyone, Adam F6B Adventures here. I ride a 2022 Honda Goldwing and I record all of my trips and throw them up on YouTube. If you're into motorcycles, hockey, or any sort of adventure, you're at the right place. Hopefully you guys ride safe and maybe I'll see you guys down the road. See ya. All right, well, let me stop dancing and get on this bike. You guys wanted a video, let's start it. Enjoy the video, guys. Well, we're still pushing along here. Uh, we're gonna go and go down a scenic route. We're gonna go down to Phoenix today. Say hi to Anita, say hi to my buddy VZ. But look at this, we're gonna take this way down Sedona. I think, uh, but maybe not. Um, at least to Prescott. Yeah, look at that road. 264 mile range. Let's do it. Hello. Hello, Dan. How you feeling? Uh, I feel a lot better. I still got that little bit of like a mucus in my cough, but I feel better. Are you riding or staying another day? No, I'm riding right now down to Phoenix. Yeah. I thought you weren't going to Phoenix. Oh, I'm deciding to go to Phoenix, so that's where I'm going. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be great. I think. Yeah. Drinking lots of water? Oh, yeah. I got my Gatorade right here. I got my water. Uh, I had to give away some of the water because, or some of the Gatorades, because my mom sent me like a lot of Gatorades. Yeah. I'm at like the coolest part of this whole little ride. It's like super twisty right here in this little spot. But where at? I'm on going from Phoenix or from Flagstaff to Sedona. On what route? 89A. 89A. So the only time I've ever gone through Phoenix is on 40. So yeah. I took that little route. 66 through Selectman. Yeah. But, I mean, that's only like a three mile offshoot, so it's not like a major detour. But yeah. the little town is pretty neat. If you see it and you got time, you ought to pull in there. I mean, literally, you get off the interstate, it parallels the interstate, <laughs> you can still see the interstate, and it goes through that little town, and then it gets right back on the interstate. Really? If you go by that there, you know, I'm going on the boat you are on. You may not. But it's, you know, it's it's kind of a cars town. You know, the cartoon cars. Cool. You know, they've got a little, they got all kinds of little, little neat trinket stuff there. I mean, that's nothing. I wouldn't go out of my way to see it, but if I was going by it, I'd stop. Yeah. It's a pretty nice little town. Now, what is it Old called? Selakeman. S I L E G M N Selakeman or Selakeman, something like that. Cool. I was going to take the work truck back to the shop and get my truck. And I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to get up early in the morning and do it. There you go. Did you see Slappy's new bike? No. Did he get one? I know he kept talking about it. Yeah, he bought himself a brand new uh, Harley Road Glide. Buddy Roger here. Uh, he said he was just uh, he slowed down for the traffic and he wanted to let the traffic pass so he can eventually catch up, you know. So we're both doing the same thing. Having some fun. Look at this. This is amazing. He said he was coming from the coast of California. Oh wow, me too, man. That's where I'm going. But we're gonna ride together just a little bit. 
His name is Roger. Look at this road. This is great, honestly. Right now it's 84 degrees. It's going to be mucho caliente in the desert. Wow. Look at this. It's amazing. You know, normally I say cool, but look at that view right there. You don't get that in Texas. I would almost say this is almost better than... No, no, don't say it, Adam. <coughs> this is almost like a fun enough ride as the Tale of the Dragon right here. Or Cherahala Skyway. This is the Cherahala Skyway. But the hot version, because it's going to get hot, apparently. So we're, we're currently in Sedona, going down towards Phoenix. And as you can tell, the temperature is going up and up and up. It's 97 degrees, man. I don't know if I can do it. I got Glenn on the phone. He told me it's going to be hot. And it is hot. So, man. But, yeah. So. Good luck with that. Oh, yeah. But, all right. I'm enjoying my air conditioning in my truck. <laughs> We've got a badass over here. As you guys can see, we're still going down 89A, and it's just as windy, if not more windy, but I'm still having a blast. After some time, I finally make it into Phoenix, and boy, it is hot. I'm literally hiding behind the windshield so that the blow dryer air doesn't hit me in the face. I know VZ's waiting for me, but I just want to give a huge shout out to whoever lives in Phoenix. <laughs> it's so hot. Ugh, just kill me. It, when I read the bike, it said 100 and it got up to 112 going down the highway. Now I see why when they go to Texas, they say, oh, it's hot. And we say, oh, it's so hot in Texas. They say, oh, yeah, oh, whatever. Well, I got in contact with my buddy VZ and found where he was. And ta-da, that's VZ. Man, VZ, if you're watching this, you're amazing. You know that? What up, man? You. How are you doing it with pants and a... You're not hot? <laughs> you just do it. Well, if you've never met VZ, this is VZ. It doesn't hurt that he has the same bike I used to have. And look at him. He rides like he owns it. He's great. Man, look at VZ. Because I left Flagstaff so late, I didn't get here until about 5, 5.30. And unfortunately, VZ got off early so that he could come hang out with me. But I took the scenic route and blah, blah, blah. So here we are. 6 30 we're gonna go have dinner at a wings place he said he really likes it and yeah so that's what we did <laughs> oh yeah you don't have a bird no? well there's vz the guy from phoenix arizona I always said man i never go to phoenix in the summer and here you are here we are you know. Just appreciate me you got to come in the summer. Unfortunately, we couldn't get our mics to uh, connect, so I did the old school way and just called him. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, good. Um, now, give me a little bit of a tour real quick while you're here, VZ. What's, what are those mountains called over there on the left side? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's okay. Um, but, but the ones in front are the superstitious. Superstitious? Why is that? Why do they call them that? The most Dutchman gold mine was lost in there. Okay. And mine has been going in there for 100 years and never coming out. Wow. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Okay, well, hopefully we come out of there, you know. <laughs> I think the, uh, come out. Yeah, I think the coolest part when you fly into Phoenix, you pass over the mountains and you pass kind of, uh, where is it at? Like right in front of us somewhere, there's like its own little, not a pyramid, but it's like, like its own little mountain all by itself. This thing on the left side over here. And Oh, yeah. That's called uh, Caliber's Castle. Caliber. That's a tomb. A tomb? Yeah. Wow. Uh, a, ran a rancher went to uh, pick his cattle to Texas. Yeah. And left, left his wife and uh, the Indian killed her. Uh -huh. And when he came back, he, he built that tomb around her. Dang. 
<laughs> Obviously, that's just the uh, what they think happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> Be like, nah, dude, he really built that whole thing. Which one's the tomb? Yeah. The one on the right side or the left side? Well, the one you were talking about when you fly in, it's all lit up. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Wow. That's cool, man. Another thing I like about all these roads is even the highways are nice and twisty. Like this right here, we don't have this in Dallas. It's kind of boring in Dallas. Yeah, it's been a few years they're working back in uh, 18. Uh huh. Wow. The freeway is kind of new. Kind of new? Yeah, look at it. The pavement is great. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is great, man. This is great. Mm. Wow. Oh, the Red Mountain Freeway. The Red what freeway? Red Mountain. Red Mountain Freeway. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why. No idea. No. Yeah, I like this freeway. Hell yeah. I see why, man. It's fun. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And just, I'm watching you, I'm pretty, I'm like right on your butt on the left side. And just watching how you ride, it looks really good and everything, man. You know. Wow. Are you part of a, like a chapter or group here in in Phoenix or not really? No. There's a lot of groups here though. Yeah. I ride with some, I follow them on Facebook and then I go ride with them. But I've never joined any chapters or nothing. Wow. Are they the groups where you have to like beat each other up to get in or what? No, nothing like that. Now at what temperature do they cancel the trip or cancel a ride when it's like 85 plus they cancel or what? No, they don't cancel. Hmm. They just get bigger water bottles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if you don't do stuff because it's hot here, you'll never do nothing. That's true. What's it like in the winter, it's though? Winter is nice. I bet. The cold day in the winter is like 70 degrees. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. You gotta get the jacket out. <laughs> but then you're you're running to the car with the AC on in the summer. Yeah. Well, I saw it was snowing. Or they still were skiing in Flagstaff like a week ago. Yeah, it was the longest ski season ever. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, they just shut it down like last weekend or weekend before last. Yeah. That's the cool part about this place, man. I don't know if I could do it when it's like super hot over here, but like right now it's 103. I could do that. That's Texas heat. But, you know, <laughs> like I said earlier, when I was coming over here, it was 112. I don't know if I could do that 112. You know, in Milwaukee, they said they canceled trips or rides if it was uh like 90 or above they would cancel <laughs> but like i got there in july and it was for them it's like oh man it's so hot go into the left lane come on in uh they were like oh it's so hot over here and i was like dude it's like 90 come on this is nothing they said oh it's hot yeah, for us they don't camp enough here but you said like people die when it's so hot over here right yeah there's usually people from out of town, they want to go hiking in the mountains. Wow. Um, and they don't they don't take it serious. No. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's nothing serious. Most of them fucking around getting ready for that. No. Nope. They think they get out early, they get out at 7, 8 o'clock, uh, it's too late. No. Nah. They can reach 100 before 10 o'clock. Yeah. That's one weird looking car right there. But, yeah, so. yeah the, um, over there at the Grand Canyon, there was a guy that he left the south rim at 1 o'clock in the morning. And he made it to the north rim 17 hours later that he had to stop like halfway because it was too hot. Yeah. And they have like little hangout spots where you can camp and just, you know, talk and they have water and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. And here, you know, going for a walk in the park is hot for me at least, you know. <laughs> and yeah. the, and there's no real elevation we're at 1300 feet this is nothing so but then flagstaff when i was over there in the mountains it was 8,000 feet up so it's like man yeah 
Now I see why it's 30 degrees cooler over there. And how long have you lived here, BZ? I got here in 86. 86. And where are you from? California. I was born in, in Memphis, though, Tennessee. Uh huh. But I never lived there. <laughs> I lived in Long Beach. I lived in Long Beach, California. Wow. At the airport across the street from where I work, that's where the pilot from 9 11 learned to fly at. <laughs> really? The... And nobody questioned. Nobody questioned why they didn't want to learn how to land. They didn't give two shits on how to land, huh? Yeah, they, they wouldn't even know that. <laughs> wow. I remember watching that on the History Channel talking about it. Like, oh, they, were, they weren't concerned on how to land. They just wanted to know how to take off and get to where they're trying yeah. to go. Wow. Well, you look good, man. It looks good riding it and kind of sucks. Um, Tina couldn't be with you on the back, but it's okay. Like I said, I told my buddy, yeah, yeah I'm going to come here and hang out with VZ. And he goes, who's that? And I told him about the guy because he didn't meet you. It was a, a different guy. I was like, it's a guy on my yeah. YouTube channel. He went from Phoenix to Litchfield in one shot, whatever. He goes, man, be ready. It's hot as shit down there. <laughs> so, wow. Come on over. Come on over to the right. Here we go. People always ask me, they said, oh, would you trade your bike back? And I said, yeah, probably. Really? Yeah, that bike is, you know, this bike's cool, but the, like you, let me pull up next to you. Your, your knees are pretty much protected right there, right? Yeah. For me, I gotta, let me slow down a little bit. For me, I gotta put these, cause this, oh, yeah. this sucks. There's no protection there. <laughs> yeah, and then like I'm you, right. okay. You, your screen and your dash is connected. So on mine, yeah. it's a space in between. So the wind still comes in, you know? Mm. Through the Apache Trail. This is the Apache Trail, huh? Yeah, it used to be an actual Stagecoach Trail. Wow. And now we're just having fun. Yeah. Wow. This is the end of the road, huh? Mm. And what is it? Restaurant? Store, it's a gift shop, restaurant, general store. They have a bar? Well, they have a, there's still a section like on Friday and Saturday nights they have live music and stuff. Dang. So this gets pretty crowded with motorcycles all the time. I believe it. Last night we were here, we were coming to, uh, to eat at the restaurant. Mm hmm. So we all parked on this side because it was that was full. We're walking up with big ass trucking tornado right in the middle of the walkway. <laughs> really? First time I ever saw one here too. Dang. Well, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and it actually has a, like a population. People live here. Really? I think there's a house down there somewhere. I think it's like a population eight or some shit like that. I think it was twelve. Huh. I don't know who would want to live here. I guess the workers. Well, yeah, they own this shit, I guess. Anyway. Reezy, look what you got me into, man. <laughs> man. Uh, Vizi said that this road was washed out somewhere. So I think we're just going to go and find it. He's got to go to work tomorrow in the morning. So I don't know how a lady wants to stay doing this, but I'm fine with it. Look at the view. Well, there you go. That's it. Um, VZ took me to a place called Tortilla Flats. Um, it's that little restaurant thing back there. Uh, obviously, it was closed. And he just brought me up to the top of this mountain. This little road that takes you to Tortilla Flats. And Apache Lake or Canyon Lake. Something lake. I think it was Canyon Lake. But, you know... You meet the nicest people on a gold wing, yeah, whatever, but 
you meet the nicest people in general on motorcycles okay this dude you know I remember meeting him we met him at the Litchfield rally and look at it he even offered me a place in his house I, so I can spend the night at his house this dude's the best and you know it just the nicest people VZ if you're watching this hopefully you watch if not that's okay but you're super nice dude you're like you know I came here literally just for you uh, the other things I was talking about those are the hey I could go and I feel bad I didn't I need to tell them like hey I'm sorry I didn't go that dude's on a one wheel Look at this bridge.